What's up YouTube and welcome to a short game hunting video for Japanese games in the United States. Uh, if you saw my last pickups video, I visited LA and San Diego over the holiday season and did uh, quite a bit of game hunting in stores that sell a lot of Japanese games, which is something that is very hard to find here in the Midwest. Um, so I've had uh, a large appreciation for many of the videos made in Japan uh, hunting for games in the book-off stores that are prevalent all over the Tokyo and other parts of Japan areas. And I decided to make my own video uh, showing some of the book-off locations that we actually have in the United States. So this is a Japanese chain that has a few locations in the uh, Southern California area as well as Hawaii, and I think they have one in New York City also. Uh, but I really wanted to highlight a couple of those locations in this video. So you're going to see footage from the one location that's in San Diego first, um, which was kind of hit or miss. Primarily American games there, but there were a few uh, Super Famicom releases especially, as well as some other interesting things that you'll see. Um, prices were okay. Um, there were a few things that were a little bit off. There was a Kiki Kai Kai for uh, Japanese Super Famicom that was $250 loose, <laughs> which is about five times what it really should have gone for. So I thought that uh, you really got to be careful when you're looking for Japanese games to uh, not overpay in some of these locations. Uh, but then I went over to L.A., and there are many more book-off locations in the L.A. area. Most of them are actually in malls, uh, but there is one that I highly recommend uh, that you stop at if you are looking for Japanese games, and that is the location in Gardena. Uh, this is in a little Japanese-themed uh, mini-mall. There's like a Japanese supermarket, there's restaurants, um, other services that would appeal to Asian clients. And this location in particular has many more Japanese language books and video games than the other book off stores did that I saw. Um, so that one you're going to see quite a bit more Japanese releases, not only for systems like Super Famicom, but even more modern systems like PSP, PS3, and especially Nintendo DS. They had a huge Japanese and Nintendo DS library at that store. Um, got a few games there that I've already shown in my last pickup video, and again, prices are, you gotta just got to be a little careful. Some of them were decent, but some of them were a little bit high. Um, the very last thing I wanted to show you in this video, and I was really hoping to give you a lot more footage of it, but I had an issue with my camera, and I lost over half of my footage just due to a corrupted file. Uh, but that is the very cool store in downtown LA called Retro Game Camp. And this is a U.S. location of a Akihabara store, um, also known as Retro Game Camp, that has a couple stores in Japan. And this is a great location that has all Japanese games from everything from Famicom on up. Um, some very nice, friendly people working there, and also found some cool stuff um, in my last game hunting video that I got at that store. So you'll see a little bit of footage from that location, um, primarily of their Japanese Dreamcast, Neo Geo CD, and PC Engine games, as well as some of the Game Boy releases. Um, so I decided not to narrate over the video, I'll just let you enjoy the sights and sounds of these stores. But definitely uh, kind of wanted to pay tribute to all the cool footage I see from people in Japan hitting these book-off stores. Thought you'd like to see a little bit of what a U.S. book-off location looks like since we have these here as well. So that about does it. I'll let you enjoy the footage. And thank you for watching. Please take a moment, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.